hello ladies and gentlemen then i do be here in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a game app using just your smartphone for absolutely free and on this game app you can also make money from it from by showing art or doing other things which i'm going to show you in this video so guys let's see this type of game now you can create any type of game that you want to create but i decided to create this type of game because i know that this is the common game that everybody plays so there's hyperability that people would like to play my game so for example let me just show you how the game looks like so i just click on play display icon and i'm going to swap the bottle you know i'm not going to try my best <laughs> so swap the bottle and when the bottle start you know you keep winning something of such nature now this is going to trend because i believe that so many people are into it and this is going to be wonderful so i'm going to show you this video how you can create this particular app or any kind of game app you want to create basically there are so many types you can create but i just i'm going to show you how you can create this particular one using this free resources so guys let's go right into the video so don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel if you have to subscribe like this video share this video with your friends and family so together we can all become great so guys to get started all you have to do is to come to um your browser here or i'll put the link below just click on the link below you come to app creator 24 so we're using this uh, this particular software to create the app so just sign up so um do, i'm going to sign in so but you now if you are here to sign up click on this sign up here and you're going to sign up so you can see it is free and you can earn money by showing ad so it is free and you can earn money by showing ad so i'm going to sign in so i've already have an account so if you have an account just sign up it's very easy to sign up and it's free to sign up so now that i'm already signing in now into my account maybe i want to create a game app a very free game app so i'm just going to come here and come here so if you if yours is new you don't see anything of all this here but you just see this particular um create app so i'm going to click on create app so when you click on create app the next thing you're going to do is to give your app a name so let's say for example the name of the app i want to play is flip the bottle so i'm going to call it flip the bottle so i'm going to call that the game flip the bottle you can call it any any name and don't forget that i'm going to show you that you can create any type of game since so it's not possible you create this particular game that i'm creating now because you know some somebody else may want to create it so you can create varieties of game in fact it's impossible to put many games in one application all right guys so now that i've I'm going to create this particular i want to show you how things is flip the bottle and i'm going to come here to app icon launcher so now this app icon launcher you can either choose to um create your own you know you can actually choose to um choose from gallery or you choose your own file for this video i'm going to click on choose from gallery so i'm going to choose um let's see is there anyone that involved bottle so if there's nothing to, for this for the sake of the video i will select one but you can actually go online and search for bottle something like that so you understand so let me say i stay with this uh let's see game um just i'm going to pick just one icon that i think is going to go in line with that so let me see i i pick this particular icon okay let's say i pick this game icon they are going to give your description you will give your app a description so i'm going to call it um flip the bottle game or anything anything you want to call it the bottle game then uh okay flip the bottle game just give it any description then i'm going to click on next so after i click on next this is going to save as you can see it's saving here so the next thing i'm going to do is to choose a style to your app so let's say you can choose any of these eight style so let's say i want to take this ics I just love the background to be dark. You can actually choose, choose anyone that you prefer. So I'm going to click on next. And when I click on next, so the next thing I'm going to do is don't do anything. Just come down here and click. You can actually click on this um this icon here, this icon here, have with this button here, which is create an empty app, or you just come back to this app. So let me click on create an empty app. So if you click on create an empty app, it will come like this. So you click, just go to click on go to app manager so when you're you're in your app manager now the next thing you're going to do is very simple is to come straight here to this place near known as section so i'm going to come here this place is known as section here so i'm going to click on section so i click on section now click on create section so when i click on create section the next thing i'm going to do is see games so you see games here click on games so when you click on game here the next thing i'm going to do here is to come here give your section a title so i'm going to give it a title so let me just call it flip the bottle so because that is the game that is the name of the game we want to we want to we want to create flip the bottle then come here and click on select now you see that you can create different types of game but if i should calculate this this i don't know this is more than 100 games that you can create different types of game that you can create 
different as in absolutely different types of game that you can create and it's even possible for you to put a lot of game together so for the sake of this tutorial just to show you how you can do it you can use to create parties play game you even make money from just sending it to your friends and family people like people flip ball to a lot you can't tell you flip the ball to and when they flip the ball to you, you make uh they, they, they are happy you are also happy because you make money from the ad that shows there so guys so just come here um since we are using flip the bottle so this is the flip the bottle game you just select it click on select so when i've selected flip on the bottle bottle game the next thing is access to there are some um, functions here that you can actually enable or disable so the first one is access so this is the first one here um access to to lead to leather uh, leaderboard so i'll click yes click yes then which style do you want to? I want to. You can actually change the style or let me prove that. Hello. So if you click on hello, everything's going to become white like that. So if you click on blue, so you go to have a blue background style. So let me just say I choose, um, let's see, this particular blue. No. Or you can, you can, you can always choose anyone you want to choose. So let me just stay with the black the way it is. It's going to be a tutorial. So now, do you want to use that to log in? So I'm going to click yes. So, but if you don't want to use that to log in, just click no. So, I'm actually on this place here, this particular one here. So, if you don't, you don't want people to put in their um, details, but if you're not putting in their details, don't be able to see the leader's boss. So, you understand. So, I'm going to leave it as yes. Then, the login types, leave it as none. Then, every other thing, just leave it the way they are. So, okay. So, I'm going to leave it the way they are. And then, come down here and click on save. So, when I click on save, this is going to save for me. You can see it's save here. But there are some things that I need to take note of. So it is beginning as some option option for me here. And one of it is that um to this type, of, this type of game I'm creating, it's going to involve the um user's location permission. So I have to to, to be able to do that. You can see you can include this permission from general iPhone name and icon section. So I'm gonna to come to general info here, the name and icon section there. So this is where I clicked on in case it did not see that. So I click on general info and then the, the one option down open for me and I click on the second option here. So here you can change anything you want to change, you know, something like, okay. So here I'm just going to come and include. So we have to own this for this particular game. So I'm going to click, click on yes. For this particular game, I'm click on yes. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just Okay, so you can see um, now I, I don't think we need other things, just need to read that one. Then I'll come here. So now this particular game, you can on save, you can generate only APK or you generate APK and AAB. So I'm going to click on only generate, uh, only generate APK. So if you have add mob add, you can put that here. But I want to show you how you can actually put other add something there. So when I'm just done with that, I just click on save. So when I click on save, this my particular um, game is going to save. So you can see here, so I'm going to click on OK. And I will just wait for some few minutes for it to um, be able to fully generate. So as it's generating the other things you need to note here, just come here. OK, come here and click on design. So when you click on design, click on uh, menu type. So when you click on menu type, so this is where I clicked on. In case it's not, you do not see that. So I click on design. Then I click on menu type types so so i click on this menu type here and when i click on this menu type i'm going to not put any menu so i don't want to put any menu so i'll click on this last one without menu and i'm going to click on save so i don't want to i don't, I don't want there to be any menu so the next thing i want to do here now is this particular function here which is uh let's see main icon so the main icon i'll click on the main icon i want to take away all this icon so to take away any icon there well, I want it, I want the, the game to be just clean, just clean, absolutely clean. So I'm going to click on all this angle, um, this arrow here, and this is going to take away all this icon. So I'll click on this, click on this, click on this, click on this. So all the icon has gone to this other side. So all they have they already been disabled. I'm going to click on save here. So when I click on save, um, our app is already done actually. So now the other things you can do, for example, you click on the loading image. Now this is the loading current loading image. You can change it if you want to change it. You understand? Um, okay, so I can actually come here and the background image too. You can actually change the background image if you want to. So I'm going to leave it that like that. Leave it like that. Then um, come down, come here and click on this particular download game. You can see that to create our game is very very simple. So you can create any type of game that you want. Just going to show you just one particular game. And in subsequent video, I will also show you in subsequent video how you can. Um, upload this particular game to um, Google Play Store so people can download it.
and you can make money from it. You actually create a lot of things using this particular app creator 24. So um, if you want me to create a full tutorial about all this app creator 24, just comment in the comment section and I'm going to do that uh, in a very short while. Okay, so now let's talk about ad. How can you make ad to show? So you come here to this section that is known as ad section. So this is the ad section here. So click on this ad section. When I click on this ad section, you are going to be able to put ad here. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to put just one type of ad, which is known as start.io. So when you come up here, you see ad for app here. So I'm going to put only this one here. But you can put partially everything if you want to put it. But just try to, do, just try to make it very short. I'm going to click on just this start.io. You can just click on this start.io and it's going to require you to log in or to register as the case may be. But I've already, I've, I've already gotten an account with them, so I've registered. Now, if you don't know how you can do this, I, I think I show you this in the previous video. But if I want to show you this again to create a full video on how everything has been done, make sure you comment in the, section, in the comment section. I'm going to show you everything. So, guys, if you're not, if you know not to get it, just come here, click on start monetizing. So when you click on start monetizing, you can just create an account, you know. That I click an account, you click on um add app. Let me just show you this. So let me click on start monetizing. And, and since I already have an account, so it's going to go straight into my whole account. So if you don't have an account, it's going to tell you to just uh, you know, sign up. And it's very it's pretty easy to sign up. Just sign up and you are good to go. So this is actually loading. Let's give you a few um few seconds for you to just finish doing what it wants to do. Okay, guys, now that it has finished loading for you, all you have to do is to come here and um, this particular place here. Okay, let me just take this up here. So let me just use this. I think it is covering. It's covering. Up. Okay, just come here. You can see this, my app. You can click on that, my app. When you click on this, my app. I'm going to show you every app you have. So I've already gotten an app. So if you you're you not you're going to add app to it, just click on this plus icon. When you click on this plus icon, it's going to ask you that do you have the app on Google Play Store? Select no. So when you select no, you put the name of your app and something's going to appear for you like this. So you have a number that looks very familiar to this. So I'm going to copy that's my own number. I'm going to copy. Then you come to your Google Play Store. Don't forget that it's a star.io. I want I want to have banner ad. So I'm going to put in this on this. Um, star.io because that is the one that we have currently just created. Then I'm going to, if you want to have interstitial ad, you can also do that. So let me see, I want to have that interstitial ad for my game. So we'll put it, paste it here. And uh, native ad also, we we'll paste it there. Okay, since I'm done with that, you can just do the guess and click on save. So when you click on save, this is just going to save your app for you. So the next thing, the last thing to do now is to download our game. Our game has been created very simple without writing a single line of code. Just come here and click on the download game. So when I click on download game, um, my game has fully downloaded for me. So all I have to do is to click on this big download icon. And when I click on this big download icon, so this if this is your first time of actually using this, um, Google is going to tell you that um, probably you are about to install something that is harmful. Now they're telling you this that is harmful because the game is not yet on Play Store. So ignore ignore the um warning and install it on your phone. This is also from Google themselves, so you have no problem whatsoever. Do you understand? No problem whatsoever. So now that I've successfully downloaded my game, let me just come to download here, and so I can now install it. So this is the game. I'm going to click on this particular icon. I'm going to click on install. So it's going to get installed. So in place of installing, Google may tell that it's, it's harmful. I'm telling you again. I'm telling you again. It's not harmful. They're only saying that because the game is not yet on Google Play Store. So that that's the ability that is harmful. So I'm going to click on okay open. And you can see our game is actually loading up. And uh, one thing I like about this game is that when you're successfully inside the game, so this is our icon. Don't forget that you can change this icon to anything you want it to be. Anything you want it to be. Now, if you want to create a full video on, on this app, Creator 24, just let me know. So these are some of the ads that is showing. These are interst interstitial ad. Now, you can actually disable this if you, want, if you don't want to. So I'm going to click on No Thanks. Then I'm going to click on, okay, since I'm coming for the first time, Okay, click on OK. So you can actually disable all this if you want to, but you cannot disable this permission actually. So I'm going to put just my name. So I'm just going to put my name here. Just put Daniel. And um, I'm good to go. Just going to click on save. So when I click on save, my game is going to load up. So this is how user is going to see your game. Your game is going to load up. And if not to see that first ad, you know, the first one I showed you, I did not put that interstitial ad. So if you, if you want to disable interstitial ad, you can also disable. Don't put the um ID, ID on that inside app so you only have a banner ad so i think that having just this banner ad is better 
So, so guys, so now our game has first free be created. So I can, I can just click on tap to play, then click on this icon, and I'm going to play my game. You know, I flip button game. So, congratulations, guys! You have successfully created your first game with targeting a single line of code. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You hit subscribe, like this video, share this video with your friends and family. And if you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer you as much as I can. Don't forget that I love you, and please subscribe. Share this with your friends and family. I look forward to seeing the next video. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Bye.